workshop, aka the kitchen table. Let's see all my random bits. Um, so basically, I've been working on this tonight. So this is is the Arduino that will go on the dashboard. Uh, these here are auto isolators. Basically, setting up a uh, system to show the idiot lights, get them working. Um, so this way, everything 12 volts will be on this side from that black thing over. So that's a PC817 chip. Can't really see. Anyways, and then um, this side over is kind of the Arduino side. Um, so I've only got two opto isolators in there so far. I kind of changed my layout a little bit. Um, I'm just kind of messing around. I could do a PCB, but this I have all the stuff here to do this. So I just figured I'd get moving with it. So it's not going to be perfect, but it'll hopefully get the job done. So just to illustrate a test. So. Uh, this basically just reads voltage, so um, this is gonna. So these are all gonna be different idiot lights, basically in the dash. So turn signals, uh, illumination, high beam, uh, etc., defrost, whatever. Um, so what I'm simulating here is we have ground from the vehicle, which is the bottom pin here is gonna be vehicle ground. Uh, right now I'm just pulling it off the laptop, so it's not perfect. But uh, you can see up here, so I've got the Arduino. It's plugged in. We've got a serial monitor up here. So it's kind of hard to do one-handed, but we're going to put the ground there, and then I'm going to run the power between the top two pins here, so you'll see. Uh, you'll see what happens on the screen. So... Oh, I did one already. Oops. Okay, so... So here, I did it, I think. So there, we top it. Left turn, left turn. Right turn, right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn, right turn. So yeah, it's working. It works. It works. Yeah. All right. So just a quick update. Um, so I do have about eight opto isolators. So this is the circuit diagram. Um, I had to modify. Them. They're not all correct. Anyways, you see an idea. So there's um, the approximately eight. I'm missing one on this one, but there's uh, eight of these uh, opto isolators. Uh, so you can see, if you go to the list here, oops. So these are the items that I'm going to be um, opto isolating in the front. Um, so this is for the idiot lights in the dash. So we have left, right indicators, turn signals, <coughs> uh, illumination. So that'll let me know when to adjust the lighting on the dash. Um, also, a rear defrost, high beam, brake warning lights, fog lights, and a reverse indicator. So. Um, so all these will be handled up front, uh, the remainder will be in the, uh, the engine bay. So I've got a couple in the engine bay um, that will be similar. So there's, um, what do I have here, uh, glow plug, indicator, charge warning, so alternator light, and RPM. And uh, then I've just got some voltage dividers here, I think, uh, or analog sensors. So anyways, yeah. I got this. Um, yeah, so it's coming along. Um, first time using perf board like this. Uh, like I said, it's probably a lot easier just to, um, well, easier relatively, um, to do like PCB way and order your own PCB board, a lot cleaner anyways, but I'm not really worried about space and it's a fun experiment. So yeah, like I said, happy days, um, small progress. Um, I think that's super cool that we're kind of making a little bit of steps here. Oh, I just want to show one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. So that's that. Thanks very much, guys.